Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is about prime implicants and essential prime implicants. So what is a prime implicant? Prime implicant is a group of adjacent mentums. So how is the grouping done in KMAP? So grouping is done in three ways in KMAP. So octate where we group eight mentums, in quad we group four mentums and in pair we group two mentums. Okay. So we know how to group, but there's an important rule in grouping, okay? So let us consider a small example over here. I have taken certain number of ones over here in the K map of a four bit. So how are we gonna group it? So as you can see, first we need to consider the largest pair combination, largest group which we can form among them. So as you can see here, it's an octet okay and next we need to consider the largest don't forget first if we have the possibility of grouping for a largest one we need to go for the largest so we here the largest is quad okay I hope you are understanding now the important rule is that we cannot form groups inside a larger group as you can see over here this is an octate but we can form two quads okay and four pairs but we should never ever form a group inside a, a bigger group okay don't forget the simple rule because it is the key player in deciding a prime implicants or essential prime implicants so now according to our definition prime implicant is a group of adjacent mentums okay so as you can see in this example so we have two groups which are formed one is a quad and another is an octate so both of them are prime implicants okay okay then we have two prime implicants over here now let us go with essential prime implicants so essential prime implicants says that in a group if any mentum can be covered by only one group then that group is essential prime implicants what does it mean so as you can see over here in this example I'm considering is that this one is only covered by quad this one is covered by quad okay so then quad is an essential prime implicant here this ones are all only covered by octate then octate is also an essential prime implicant so we have two essential prime implicants and two prime implicants to better understand, let us deal with some more examples where we will get more clarity in prime implicants and essential prime implicants. Okay, let us take this example as you can see. Now let's form groups first. So forming a group, take the largest group first. So we can form an quad over here. Now we need to form a group for this one. We can form a pair over here. So now we have two prime implicants okay we have two prime implicants as you can see we have formed two groups now one more thing now let's see what about essential prime implicants this one is only covered by a pair and this ones are covered by only quad okay so we have two essential prime implicants okay we cannot form a group inside a bigger group never forget that rule okay I hope you understood now let us go with another example over here okay so in this example let's form the groups first so we are forming the groups here you go and here you go you got a pair two pairs but one one is remaining so either it can be grouped with this one or either it can be grouped with this one okay it can be grouped like this or it can be grouped like this so we have an extra redundant term okay either we can consider this pair or this pair so it's an extra redundant pair which is non-essential prime implicants okay now let us say how many prime implicants are there so one prime implicant two prime implicants and three prime implicants okay We got three prime implicants if you consider this one or if you consider this one and neglect this one 
then also we got three prime implicants. Now we need to consider how many essential prime implicants are there. So what does an essential prime implicant says? This one should be covered by only a single group. Okay, there should be at least one one that at least one min term that should be covered by a single group. As you can see, this one is covered by two groups. This one is covered by two groups, but this one and this one are covered by only single pair. So we have two essential prime implicants in this example. So if, if you can write the value that is x bar and so value of this one will be x bar and y bar and another essential prime implicant is x and y. So these are two prime essential prime implicants which you can get from this k map. Now let's go to another example okay. So now let us consider this example. First we need to form a bigger group. As you can see this is not a bigger group, this is not a bigger group. We can form a quad okay. We can form a quad. One, This is a bigger group. Now we can form a pair over here. So we have two prime implicants. It's just the grouping of min terms that's the prime implicants. We can form two prime implicants. Now let us consider how many essential prime implicants are there. This one, this one, this one is covered by a single group that is quad. And this one is covered by a single group that is a pair. So we have two essential prime implicants in this. Now let's move to another example over here which is a 4-bit one. Okay. So now let us form the groups. Don't forget we need to form bigger groups first. So as you can see there is a quad over here, there is a quad over here and there is a quad over here. Okay, so big groups are formed. We have remaining one is we have a one over here which can be grouped like this or like this. So we have an extra redundant term. Okay, now let us see how many prime implicants are there. So we have one quad, two quad and three quads and one of them either this or this pairing. So we have four prime implicants okay we have four prime implicants how many essential prime implicants are there as you can see this one is covered by a single group this one is covered by a single group this one is covered by a single group so we have we have three prime implicant essential prime implicants one two okay this one and none of them in this so we have only two essential prime implicants. So this term is not an essential prime implicant because it can be covered by two groups. Okay. Uh, now let's go to another example here. In this example, as you can see, we have octate in it. Okay. We have an octate in it. So first we will take the largest group, not the small one. So we have the octate and next as you can clearly see we can form the quad in here. So we cannot take a pair. We need to form an on quad over here. Now we have two prime implicants and two essential prime implicants. Okay. You can form the equation by writing if you if you want an expression take the octate from here and you will get the expression and write the expression. And one more, this is a very most important thing I wanted to say. This, this is a most important example. Okay, I hope you can understand. So as you can see over here, we don't have any formation of groups over here. But a single one can be considered as a single group. A single one can be considered as a single group. So we have three prime implicants over here and three essential prime implicants. So this is an important one since this group, this 
single one forms a single group so it will be considered as a prime implicant this will be considered as a prime implicant this one will be considered as a prime implicant now each of them is having only covered by a single group okay now we have three essential prime implicants and three prime implicants so I hope you have understood what is meant by prime implicants and essential prime implicants after doing this many examples if you want more clarity please solve more examples and understand it if you have any doubts please comment down below I will make sure that I will answer within 24 hours of time okay I will do it very fastly and please do subscribe it will help me a lot to produce more good valuable content for you and thanks for watching hope you like this video please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching